Hey everybody, I recently installed Windows 8.1 public preview to um, do some testing with to show it to you guys how this is turning out. This is going to be a two video series. This video is going to be initial um, initial overview before I really do a whole lot of customization. I just want to show you some basic Windows 8.1 features that you'll notice that are um, new. I mean, when you compare it to Windows 8. First off, we're going to look at the start screen. You'll notice how the um, background image is a custom image. It matches the desktop. Which, by the way, when you have multi-display in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, the start screen only takes up one of your displays. So you'll always see the desktop on the other display. Which is not a bad idea. But anyways, um... You'll notice right away that hey, you can actually change um, the start screen to show the desktop background. And how you do that is you go over here and click on settings. You click on personalize. You have tons of different settings like like this for instance. Which obviously I believe when um, Windows 8.1 is fully released these pictures might be different. But what you'll notice is in the corner here, you'll have your desktop image. You'll just click that to choose your desktop image. Anyways, I'll just go ahead and um, click out of this. And that's how you get a des your um, desktop image into the start screen. Another thing you'll notice is you have, you have more options for tile sizes. You have very large tiles, and you can have very small tiles. For instance, the games tile, video tile music and pictures I mean camera those are very small and there's the photos app and the neat thing is in Windows 8.1 instead of having to right click and say all apps to get all your apps there's a little down arrow you click that you'll get your apps sorted by name by date installed by most used and by category so you get all your apps in programs in different categories. Now I'll refer to apps as what actually come up in the um, the start screen. <clears throat> well actually I refer to apps as the tablet style apps like let's say the reader, the music, the video, the news, that kind of stuff. And programs I refer to stuff that you normally use in the desktop environment. So that way you don't get, get me confused here. Now in this area if you try if you try to search something you'll you're searching just apps from this area so let's say like I want to search paint it comes up with paint now I can go back to the start screen by clicking what's now the up arrow at the bottom of the screen and now if I want to search something I just start typing let's say printer And in the corner here, you'll see um, device settings, Wi-Fi settings. This is stuff you normally like to see in the control panel and everything. And you'll see um, results from the internet. If you notice, you'll see something like printers, Pinterest, printer ink, all of that kind of stuff. Printer reviews, printers compatible with Windows 8, all that kind of stuff. So the search has definitely been improved. And this regular one is a. If you just start typing, it would only show apps, and then you have to ma you have to manually click settings and all that kind of stuff. So there's definitely an improvement there. Now that being said, let me go and show you something else. I mentioned earlier that how you used to right click to say all apps. If you right click now in Windows 8.1, you get customize. You click that, you can name each group of apps. So you can customize the start screen exactly the way you want it. Now in my second video you're going to see how Windows 8.1 will look after I customize it to be more friendly with a desktop computer. So let me go ahead and just click out of this. Now I'm going to show you the desktop. They've definitely made some improvements here so I'm going to click on desktop. Here's what the Windows desktop looks like. And I got an Explorer window open. Obviously very similar to Windows 8. 
whichever picture you put in the background it automatically adjusts the color of the taskbar and stuff to match your image for example this is my GM Denali road bike you'll notice this bike very often on my other channel bike geek MTDX I set this picture to be my desktop background and you notice how Windows 8, Windows 8 8.1 automatically adjusted the taskbar to be the color of the bike and here's another cool thing the start button is back and this is actually called the start hint in Windows 8.1 so instead of having to click over to the corner to get start all I have to do is click right here and go to your start screen so I'm definitely seeing some improvements here now I'm going to show you something else that's actually in the start screen in Windows 8.1 you have a much larger choice of apps they give you a lot more from I mean just a clean install I'm going to choose by name so you can see you have a much bigger selection here like reader, scan, reading list, food and drink, health and fitness, it's all sorts of random stuff for example you can use this app as an alarm I'm going to say yes you can turn it on that kind of stuff and obviously to close out apps in, in Windows 8 and Windows 8 but when you pull from the top and and pull down I'm going to show you the photos app and actually I already had it open so it just pulled it back up I was looking at my GMC and I wrote back here and see I got it in a um, I'm just browsing through it's just looking through random stuff right now Anyways, there's the um, Q computer, Tile Tower Max, a machine I got for sale right now. So I'm going to close this out and come back to here. Now I don't have a scanner installed, so I'm not going to try to scan app just yet. I'd have to install my Kodak printer up there. I haven't installed any printers or anything yet. The only thing I've even installed is really the AMD Vision driver for my graphics card. That's pretty much it. It's just a clean install of Windows 8.1. But the neat thing is you have a very good um, the start screen has definitely improved. And of course you have what I call your tablet apps here and your programs here. Now one thing I would like to see is if they would make these categories collapsible. I can click and they don't collapse. They should have it where everything is collapsed. That way you can easily browse through and find your programs. Like in Windows 7 I have easily over 100 programs installed. I think I think I actually have over 100 programs installed in Windows 7. So you imagine trying to just browse through all this stuff. Now, now grant that they do have the search function. But it still would be nice to have this where these folders were collapsed and then you could click to uncollapse and this looks through anyways that being said I'm going to show you um, how much they've improved the settings in Windows 8 the PC settings didn't have a whole lot to it but Windows 8.1 they have improved it to be really close similar to the control panel for example I can click PCs and device PC and devices you'll get a lot of information here you can go with display you can customize the display settings we have devices it's funny it actually detected into my brother printer which is a Wi-Fi printer and the Kodak so I actually probably already did install the Kodak so I would have to install a driver for the brother printer got a mouse and touchpad you can um, customize stuff here and see typing they even have autocorrect which sometimes autocorrect can be a pain less, like let's say on smartphones and stuff so you can turn this off if you want to so I can just turn this off and say highlight misspelled words corners and edges you can turn you can turn off the hot corners which is definitely nice for a desktop computer you can turn all this stuff off. Got a powered sleep. 
you can customize um, when to turn off the display, when to put the computer to sleep. Now, obviously, this is a desktop computer. Now, if this is a laptop, you probably have more stuff to choose from here. You can customize autoplay options and get a general glance of the specifications about the computer. Now, I'm going to pull up a control panel on the desktop. And choose small icons to get everything shown. Go back to the start screen. And what's cool is you can make everything small, that kind of stuff. Go to settings, change PC settings. Now, here is the start screen version of PC settings. And here's your control panel in the desktop environment. Definitely a big improvement. Okay, there's a couple more things I want to show you for a wrap up this um, part one video of this series. I'll show you the Windows Store. A few things I know there have been some improvements to the Windows Store, and probably a better selection of apps. And show your top paid, your top free, and you can search for apps, that kind of stuff. This will have an app for Facebook, an app for YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Let's go have a look at Internet Explorer. I'm going to pull up two pages. I'm going to pull up Cube Computer Channel and the Q Computer Company Facebook page. And you'll notice how it actually showed suggestions as I was typing. Go to Cube Computer Channel. Here they look at um, the channel page. Now, obviously, when you're using Touch to go back in Internet Explorer, you all you do is pull, like so. Anyways, now the tabs are at the bottom. All you have to do is right-click right click and you'll see your tabs now of course the um, modern UI version of Internet Explorer is really designed for touch but anyways actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll, go to, I'll do a Google search of my Facebook page So that being said, here's a look at um, Q Computer Company on Facebook. And of course, right click, you get your tabs. <clears throat> so they have changed a few things in the Internet Explorer 11. This is, yeah, this is Internet Explorer 11. I'm going to close this out. Oh, before I do, let me go and show you something else. A big disadvantage of Windows 8 was you had very limited amounts of <clears throat> ways you could customize the sizes of your apps. For example, I'll put um, the Q Computer Facebook page here, and you can put the start screen on the other screen. So you can leave this just like it is. And let's say I want to open the weather app. I can drag the weather app and move it right here so I can have two apps on this screen and let's say if I want to pull up um, 
photos, I can pull up photos on this screen. So if you have multiple displays, you can put apps in all sorts of different sizes across your screens. Now something definitely very nice to see. A very big improvement in being able to split your screen in half one side for one app and one side for the other app, that's definitely an improvement. So I'm going to close all these out. Then I'm going to show you the um, lock screen. Now of course I have my own custom image on here and when you're in the lock screen it pretty much blacks your other display and leaves this display running. Now it would be nice to have probably I guess the same picture across both displays. Now that's something you could probably do but a couple of things you can do with the um, the lock screen now are you can actually allow some apps run on the lock screen and you can have the lock screen play a slideshow of images. Just a few things to note. So anyways, that was just a general overview of Windows 8.1. I'm actually going to have a second video to a really going and customize things. I'm going to do some testing around and see what we can do here. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the um, lock screen. Now, of course, I have my own custom image on here. And when you're in the lock screen, it pretty much blacks your other display and leaves this display running. Now, it would be nice to have probably, I guess, the same picture across both displays. Now, that's something you could probably do. But a couple of things you can do with the, um, the lock screen now are you can actually allow some apps run on the lock screen. And you can have the lock screen play a slideshow of images. Just a few things to note.